Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to answer the question of whether or not big swim baits really work to catch bass. Spoiler alert, they do. They work really well. In fact, I don't even know if I can go back to just throwing traditional lures unless if I'm tired. They work so well. It's, it's really uh, phenomenal what they can do and the big bass that they attract. All right, so I've got four clips of me catching bass with them. I'll show the clips and then I'm going to come back and just generally talk about, um, I don't know, I, the reason I'm making this video is because maybe people want to get started, they don't, need to, they don't know what gear to get, maybe they doubt that it really works. Um, so I'm going to try and answer all that after the clips. So if you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. If you're into fishing, I'd love to have you as a sub, so hit that subscribe button. And I will also put in Amazon links to all the gear that I use in case you want to get started. So that'll be in the description box. Um, and just to preface, what my real action, I set the hook on this big bass and I, my reel came unseated. Um, it's pretty funny actually. And, but it's a good segue into uh, why you need proper equipment, right? And there's nothing really wrong. It's just that with my equipment, the reason that it's happened, it's just that the, the reel's big, right? Like it's big, it's, and my, I mean, my rod's big too. It's an eight foot extra, extra heavy rod. It's just that I couldn't, I didn't get that dial tight enough. And so it just popped out when I set the hook. I had to actually go in with a wrench and tighten it. But again, I think it's, it's a good, it's a good, uh, example of why you need proper equipment and I'll, I'll talk about the equipment I use and, and what you can what you can look at to get started and how much it'll cost and all that all right so I'll show the clips and then I'll come back and talk healthy one too look I don't think it's spawned yet <laughs> Jesus Christ Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Holy
Another one. Big guy. Get off. Get off. This is a giant. Big heavy fish. So you've seen the evidence, it works really well. I'm, man, it's like, the more confidence I have in throwing these baits, the more I just see myself using them all the time. Because what they do is they really attract the bigger bass in the area. Um, had I, you know, like last week I went around and threw my crankbait in basically those same spots and I, I caught fish but not the caliber of those bass. I mean, one of them was really big and the other ones weren't that big, but they were strong. They were really strong bass. Um, they tore my thumb up pretty good, but they were just like strong, stocky, thick bass, right? Um, so there's just, it, it just attracts this higher caliber of bass all the time. And the more you know about fishing and swim bait fishing in particular, um, I should say the more you know about fish and, and how they attack their, their bat, their prey, uh, the better you'll get with swim bait fishing, um, big swim bait fishing. So the first couple of years I, I used this, I, um, I had some luck, but I'm, I'm getting way more consistent with hookups. And so like, it's really important to be able to identify strike zones or potential strike zones. Right, like if you're pitching a jig, right, to uh, let's say there's a stump and it's got some shade and some grass, right, and you usually just pitch that right into the spot. Swim bait fishing is a little bit different, especially big swim bait fishing. You actually want to cast past your target. You try to, I, so what you're looking for is like shade and hard surface or cover and structure. So anything that camouflages the bass and any hard surface. And where those two meet are, are key prime strike zones, right? And so with swim baits, you wanna cast past and bring your lure as close as you can to even to hitting the hard surface or bringing it right through the cover. And the better you get at that, the better you'll be at swim bait fishing. When I first started, I didn't really understand how important that was. Um, and so, but, I did see a lot of bass come and follow it, but I almost gave up on it because it's just like, man, and you hear this a lot on the internet about how big swim baits don't work that well because bass don't really strike it. They're just curious. So there is some truth to that, but the better you get at identifying strike zones and putting your lure through this, casting past and putting it through the strike zone, the, the more you'll love big swim bait fishing. Um, you need really good gear. You need specialized equipment. I think that's kind of a downside is that, and they're not that versatile, right? Like you're throwing big swim baits and they're like $40 a piece. That's a good price on a big swim bait. Um, so, you know, the Dio Alexa was like 250. That's the reel I used. The rod was 150. So it's $400 right there. Then you need line and lure. That's another 60 bucks. So you're looking at like $460 just to get started and you're, that's all you're gonna use it for is just big baits. So, but <clears throat> once you see the potential, I think, I think uh, it's worth the money, 100%. Yeah, I'm just getting better and better and better and the bass are just getting bigger and bigger. Uh, so it's really great. So uh, it's, you know, why pros don't use it? I don't know, I think, I think, I think pro circuits are, just kind of about identifying schools of bass and catching as many as they can offshore. 
it seems to be the popular thing. Um, it seems to be the way to go. I, I, don't know. I don't watch it that much, but from what I watch, it seems like, you know, most or or they're they're catching uh, spawning bass. So that's why I don't think it's that popular. But it's just, and but you'll see, uh, you know, even uh, the videos under this or above it, you'll see how well they do work. But uh, so <clears throat> the the lure I used was a Spro eight inch slow sinking swim bait. The lure is really important. Um, I that's the only one I've ever used. That's the only one I'll continue to use until Bill Siemental, who designed it. He was originally with Spro. He, he parted ways. He's with Akuma now and Fish Labs. And when he comes out with a big, big swim bait, I'll, I'll go to that. But for now, this is all I'm using because it, because it works so well. And you can fish it so slow through shallow water. I mean, most of those bass you can see are in less than a foot of water. Foot, two foot at the most. And so a lot of swim baits I've seen just nose dive straight to, you know, and you gotta reel them in real fast. This is different. You can bring it in real slow and let it work, and then you can twitch it so it flashes it, it or it will flash its side to the bass, attack, you know, if we're stalking it. Uh, the so great lure, forty dollars. I'll have Amazon links. It's still in production as far as I know. <clears throat> the reel I used was the Dio Alexa Win 400. That's a 6.2 to 1. I love this reel. I'm so thrilled I have it. Um, the rod is out of production. It's Cousin Ray's. So you have to get, and I'll, I'm searching for one right now too, but it's an eight foot extra, extra heavy. You might even want to go eight and a half feet. Maybe, I don't know about nine. That might be too big depending on what you're doing. Eight, the, the rod I have is kind of perfect. That's why I'm, I'm pretty much going to use it until it, I can't use it anymore. And the line is mono. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using 20 pound right now, and it works. Um, it works really well. Uh, if you want to be safe, go 25 pound mono. Um, so that's the setup. The other reel I used is a uh, Shimano Calcutta 5 400B. So that those are still in production and they work really well. So you can use those as well. I'll link the Calcutta up as well. Um, but that's it, man. I, like I said, I, it's, it's kind of hard for me to go. It does tire me out throwing that all day. Like my shoulder destroys my shoulder, but at the same time, man, you just catch these giant, giant bass. But that's the video. Um, hope you liked it. Hope it helped. <laughs> Big baits work. They're absolutely worth it. You do have to understand how fish attack their prey though. And that you, again, you want to cast pass. You're, you wanna, and the the strike zone or the spot that might not even be the spot where the bass is, but you can create a strike zone, right? So you cast past it if, and then bring it as close as you can to that structure and cover. All right, so that's it. Anyways, I hope you catch a big bass soon. Thanks, bye.